Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Hughes and this is a WBZ News Update. Most of the families who were going to be evicted from shelters on Friday will be allowed to stay for now. WBZ has learned that most received extensions. Some are just for a week. There were 57 families though facing eviction under the state's new policy, which puts a five-day limit on stays at temporary shelters. We have learned that 11 of the families did move out of the shelter system on Friday and they all had other places to go. Some sports news now. The Patriots released Juju Smith-Schuster. The 27-year-old receiver joined the Pats as a free agent before last season but never really got his footing here and wasn't terribly successful. He played in 11 games last year with one touchdown. New England takes a $9.6 million cap it with that move. And Logan Airport's been ranked one of the worst places in the country for late night flights. The travel site upgraded points, looked at data from the 50 busiest airports in the country and found only 1% of the flights at Logan depart after 8 p.m. and about half of them are routinely delayed. The best airports to get out late, Atlanta, Detroit, and the Delta hub of Salt Lake City. All right, let's get a check of the forecast now as we head into the weekend with our chief meteorologist, Eric Fisher. Uh, maybe a night for more delays around the Northeast corridor. We've got some downpours and some thunderstorms that'll be rolling through during the overnight. These are the remnants of what's left over of Devi. Now these will be passing through, not expecting major flooding issues, but some locally heavy downpours possible. The good news at least is that these will be leaving early in the morning by 8 a.m. Just about everyone's done except for Cape Cod and the islands might take a couple more hours by midday. The last of that rain should leave outer Cape Cod and Nantucket. Those will be the last spots to see rain chances exit. Tonight's lows in the 70s, very gusty outside, very humid, very tropical feel. We'll start humid tomorrow morning and then slowly the humidity will fall as the day goes on. Once it exits, we'll be much drier for Sunday and into the foreseeable future. Expect a very warm day tomorrow. We'll be well into the 80s outside, so summer weather is back. Sunday, we're in the low 80s with, again, much lower humidity, so a drier feel to the day. But tomorrow, we'll be sweating it out a little bit. Very different compared to what we had for most of this week. Some towns even just, just shy of 90. Also, a high surf advisory if you're heading to the beaches on the south coast expect some bigger waves and also a higher rip current risk and a little bit rough for any boaters who will be out in the water this weekend as well. Lisa. All right. Thanks, Eric. And thanks for being with us. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great weekend.